Hey guys, Trevor with Shadow Systems. It's Technical Tuesday. Today we're going to talk a little bit about trigger systems. And part of this question comes from the fact that we've had a number of people ask us about the new Timney drop-in trigger system, which produces a really awesome trigger pull in, uh, in guns like ours and Glocks and anything that uses that basic operating system. So I thought it was actually maybe time to take a step back and talk really quickly about what is changing in the operating system when that's being used, and then also how it relates to other operating systems in the market. Uh, it really starts with understanding the difference between double action and single action, okay? So I have a, an old Walther P99 here, okay, which would be considered a, a double action gun. Pulling the trigger the first time produces basically two results. To prepare the gun to fire, meaning it's compressing the spring on the striker, and then releasing it. It is double action. So at that moment, that is the double action trigger pull. I'm compressing and releasing. Then the gun cycles, then the gun cycles, and you now have the short light trigger pull that's called single action because pulling the trigger only releases the striker. It doesn't withdraw it and release it. All right, so that's double action versus single action. In the case of revolvers, you would think of a single action revolver. You cock the hammer and then pulling the trigger only produces one action. It releases the hammer and it falls forward. Double action revolver, pull the trigger, it takes the hammer back and it releases. Okay, so now we know double action versus single action. I think when people talk about striker fired guns, they make the assumption that they're all kind of operating the same way. And the reality is that the, the actual method of operation or what the trigger is doing when you pull it sometimes varies, okay? so. I would consider the Glock operating system and therefore the, sh the, the system that's used in the Shadow Systems firearms to be a double action only, closer to a double action, okay? And the reason for that is pulling the trigger produces two actions. On the way back, you're actually compressing the striker spring and then at the end, you're releasing it. There's two actions that are happening, okay? So that's what some of that trigger pull weight and safety comes from is the action of compressing it. It's also nice from a safety perspective to not have the, the, uh, the, the striker in its fully ready to fire state with the spring compressed, right? So you would say it's better to not have the potential energy of the spring waiting to release the striker. Now there of course is a firing pin safety and all these different guns have these wonderful safeties that do make them very safe. So this isn't an argument that one design is safer than the other, but it is nice that that's true for this operating system. Double action only really, although a short trigger movement, pull the trigger to the rear, with, which, which compresses the striker spring and releases it. Now, would it surprise you to hear that actually M&Ps and XDs and P320s and uh, I believe the VP9 are all closer to what you would call a single action gun. And so what that means is when you're pulling the trigger, if you look in the back there, the striker is actually already in its cocked state. So when you pull the trigger, the, 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 the trigger pull you experience on the way up is really just the mechanical movement of the components and then you're releasing the sear at the end, okay? So these guns, M&Ps, XDs, if you look, you can actually see on an XD, you look under the back plate, you can see that striker, the foot of the striker is pulled all the way to the rear. And then when you pull the trigger, you're just dropping the sear out of the way and the striker releases. Okay, now we have compared and contrasted these two. Well, the Timney trigger system basically converts the Glock operating system to a fully cocked striker. And so that means that instead of having the first part of the trigger pull withdrawing the striker before it's released, it's already cocked to the rear. Okay, so when you cock the gun, striker stays to the rear. Uh, do I think that that is inherently unsafe? No, I don't. And, and I have seen you know, a, a lot of guns like these that work well that way. Um, their website, Timney's website, says that they have, you know, the, the reliability of the Glock system is still there. That's how they market it, at least as of today. Um, they do call it their competition trigger, so I don't really know what that means, okay? But in the actual verbiage, in the product description, they say um, you know, it has a, a three pound trigger pull and you know, the Glock reliability is there and they've independently tested it to 10,000 rounds. And I have no reason to believe that any of that is untrue, okay? Um, we have not tested it. We can't vouch for its performance. Some people have had good results with it, great results. Others have said it doesn't work great with our guns. 
So I don't really know what to say. Um, it is absolutely on the, you know, the individual to decide what they want to do. And if you're looking for a wonderful super light trigger pull, I'd say give it a shot. But just realize that I can't warrant the function of the gun, we can't warrant the function of the gun, and all the safety checks and things that we do are with our trigger, not with someone else's, okay? So that's fundamentally how they achieve it though. The striker stays to the fully cocked position. That little bit of movement, which is very light on the Timney trigger, is bringing the trigger to that, that sear release point, and then you're just letting the striker fly, which makes it quite a bit lighter. Um, our, our, our opinion is though that you know, for the, the, the typical use for our market is in the, in the self-defense or duty role and you know, whether it's a fully cocked striker or it's even just a modified Glock operating system, a three pound trigger pull is probably not your best bet. We, we tend to stay in the four to four and a half range, which doesn't sound like a big difference, but it does feel quite a bit heavier. So, so that's an overview of a, of a double action versus a single action. That is an example, or those are examples of guns that fall into those categories, and that's the backstory on the Timney trigger and our lack of experience with it. So that's kind of use at your own risk. Um, other than that, that's all we have for today, and we will see you next week. Thank you.